And that road you saw washed out there, of course, a result of the storm that's been ongoing for several days here. And we've got some storm activity here in Kern as well. Let's take a look at the radar here. We've got some areas of showers and even a couple of thunderstorms that have developed right now in Bakersfield, hearing some raindrops on the roof. The heavier rain here in Bakersfield is going to be down uh, mainly towards the southeast portion of the town, moving over toward Arvin and uh, Lamont. Also some heavier rain there toward Lost Hills than Button Willow uh, downpours. Thunder and lightning and even some light hail, some small hail possible with this little system moving in. Fortunately, not too much going on uh, across the rest of the county and not too many impacts here today, but still tracking the potential for rain as we head through the night tonight and even the potential for snow becomes a little bit more widespread. You see as we head toward tomorrow morning, plenty of blue on the radar here, so still some lingering activity through the night tonight. And then another wave of rain as we head into the day tomorrow. Scattered showers, especially as we get into the evening hours. And as we get late tomorrow night into Thursday morning, we start to be a little bit more concerned with some of this snow in our mountain areas as the snow levels look to be dropping as we get some colder air filtering in. So still plenty to track here and definitely some decent rain totals expected once again. Now this is probably going a little bit high. I don't think the heavier rain is going to be as widespread as this, but with these scattered showers and storms moving through isolated heavy rain, certainly not out of the question. That's why the flood watch was extended here. So through the night tonight, showers, potentially some thunderstorms that lingers into tomorrow, but our mountain communities, especially at pass level, really close to the freezing mark. So we could definitely get a little bit of snow over the passes. I don't think it's going to stick, though. We'll take a look at the snow forecast here right now. So light snow down to pass level. Sure, definitely possible. Don't think we see impacts accumulating snow tonight is going to remain for the most part above about 4,500 feet and areas above 4,500 feet could definitely get several inches of snow overnight. Now, as we head into Wednesday night, that snow level drops significantly, and that's when I do think we could get a couple inches of snow over the passes. So uh, to Hatchapi, to Hone Pass there, that's when things could get a little bit slippery tomorrow night into Thursday morning. Now, getting into the extended forecast here, looking at tomorrow through the day, waves of scattered showers, better chances though, I think as we get later. So as we head toward 4 p.m., 8 p.m. That's when I think the rain is getting a little bit more widespread tomorrow, but I won't rule out some showers into the early afternoon either. 53 degrees, relatively calm Thursday. I once again would not completely rule out a stray shower for Thursday, but certainly by the weekend, the sun is coming back out. We can put this active weather behind us. Nice uh, sunnier conditions expected across the county and we'll get up into the 60s as we head into next week too. mountain communities. Again, we're really looking at tomorrow night. So again, areas above about 4500 feet tonight will get a good amount of snow, but as those snow levels lower tomorrow night, you see the overnight lows dropping well below freezing. That's when that could be a little bit more of a widespread impact. And again, light at the end of the tunnel, sunshine, nicer weather as we head toward the weekend.